Oh, it's you, Captain. You paying your respects, too? Good timing. I was treating an old comrade to some drinks. You mind drinking in his stead? Let me keep you company. For Jutland. For Jutland. Oh, <laughs> that hits the spot. I'm not afraid of dying, but being unable to drink good alcohol? <laughs> that I can't do without. You said you knew this soldier. Was it from your days in the main force? You got that right. I was in my mid-thirties. It was just when I started hitting my stride as a soldier. I was a sergeant then, in the role of bringing the unit together. I'd watch over the new recruits, listen to my senior officers. I guess it's not that much different from now. One day, though, I got a subordinate of mine killed during a live fire exercise. This guy right here. It was a stupid communication error. He rushed right into the line of fire. It was an accident that could have been avoided, had I been supervising properly. Back then, I was getting cocky, arrogant about how I was defending Jutland. Because of that, a young man lost his life in a simple training exercise. Whenever I'm in a gunfight, I remember his face as he was dying. And my hands tremble, even now. <laughs> Pitiful, isn't it? Is that why you left army life behind for a while? Yeah, pretty much. The shaking still hasn't completely gone away. You know, he was someone who really took care of his family. Parents, siblings, he was always talking about them. All I can do for him is stand on the battlefield and protect the family he left behind. That's why I answered the summons for the Anti-Valkyria Squad. Figured he'd appreciate if I did that. Of course, I have no idea what he'd really think. What do you think? The dead don't speak. Hmm. But I'm sure he'd be grateful. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>